Hello everyone, this is Yanu from Tsinghua University and this is the solution for homework 3. In this homework, we want to analyze the PSR of the LDO with a Miller compensation and the dominant pole is at the gate of the power transistor or at the EA output and then we assume the power transistor operates in saturation region. In this solution, we want to provide an intuitive method to analyze this uh, PSR of the LDO. Uh, because it will be a quite complicated uh, question solution if we calculate everything. And we also like to introduce this PSR analysis method that we calculate the open loop PSR first, and then the closed loop PSR or the, or the entire PSR will be the open loop PSR divided by 1 plus t, where t is the loop transfer function of the feedback loop. And then, like we mentioned in the course, for PMOS LDO, we want the gate follows the input ripple such that we can have a relatively constant current uh, through this power transistor. So to select the EA we, topology, we want the PSR of the EA will be approximately 1, which means the EA output follows the input ripple. And then we can calculate the open loop PSR. And then because the EA output follows the input ripple, that means the GM of the power transistor do not have much effect on the output. And then the remaining part will be the RDS of the power transistor and the load resistance. So the open loop PSR at the DC will be approximately uh, GDSP times RO, where RO is the output impedance of the power stage. And then for the entire LDO, uh, the PSR at the DC will be the uh, open loop PSR DC divided by the uh, 1 plus loop transfer function. So it will be approximately equals to GM, uh, GDSP over the EA gain times GMP. And when we consider the frequency response of the PSR, for the frequency response, we can, we can replace RO with ZO, right? And then the loop transfer function also change with frequency. And we can find that the PSR will increase if the loop gain decrease, right? Like after the 3, 3 dB pole, the gain start to decrease. And the PSR will become, the PSR will decrease also as the uh, power stage output impedance, ZO uh, decrease. Now the question is, uh, what is the ZO and what is the uh, bandwidth? So in this internal pole dominant case, IPD LDO case, we care about uh, several frequencies like the, the gate pole frequency on the, the pole at the gate of power transistor. And the ZO here is the uh, frequency response of the power stage, the output impedance of the power stage. So here, when we calculate output impedance of the power stage, the MP have a Miller compensation capacitor, CM, between, um, uh, between the drain and gate, right? It also have a CGD, which can also merge into this CM. And medium frequency, uh, the output signal will be coupled to the gate, and then we will see a 1 over GM uh, from this power transistor. And then we will see a zero, equivalent zero, that uh, contribute to the PSR response. So when we consider the frequency versus the, the PSR, when the frequency reaches the gate pole, both the loop gain and the output impedance start to drop, right, due to the uh, pole at the gate, and then the PSR remain unchanged yet. And then when the frequency keeps increasing, reaches the zero of the power stage, the output signal can be coupled to the gate of the power transistor and, and then the output impedance start to decrease. So the PSR will rise, which means the PSR becomes worse, like a zero, like a zero at this frequency. And at the unit gain frequency of the loop gain, so the loop, regula the loop regulation is effectively lost so the PSR uh, denominator will becomes dominated by uh, one that because the T is smaller than one after the unit gain bandwidth. And then the PSR stops rising. We see another pole here. And then near the upper pole, the PSR becomes better because the load capacitance help us to filter out the input ripple, so the supply noise. And we see another pole at the upper pole. And then in summary, in this case, the PSR will be the uh, PSR DC times uh, a zero from the output impedance of the power stage. 
and then we have the pole from the unit gain frequency and uh, output pole frequency and then that completes the uh, analysis of this uh, audio with a Miller conversation uh, with a dominant pole at the gate of the power transistor okay thank you